everyone, this is Kim with Ridgeline Doodles. Uh, we're just going to do a quick video here on what comes in your puppy go home bag. So, when you get a Ridgeline Doodle puppy, you don't only just get your puppy. You get your puppy go home bag filled with things that will help you and your puppy in the first few days and weeks. So, let's start off with the blanket. Um, this blanket is going to have the scent of mommy and litter mates. So this is a comfort item. Uh, try not to wash it for a few days or weeks. Hopefully it won't get heavily soiled. Um, keep it in their crate or on their bed at night. Let them have access to this. Same with the toy. It will also have litter mate and mommy scent, um, but it's also just um, a familiar item. Um, they play with these every day. You will also get a bag of treats that they already are a fan of. Um, they're just little soft training treats that they, um, have already been desensitized to, so you, these are a favorite. They may not look exactly like this. It could be a different brand. Um, I kind of switch it up depending on what might be um, on sale and I buy in bulk. So, also, you will be getting a licky mat. So this is a textured mat. It's got suction cups on the back. So this is handy for mental stimulation. Uh, what you would do is um, take either peanut butter or yogurt, even a type of baby food, and put it on here and then freeze it so then, so then it lasts longer. Um, and you can just use this as a, like a busy item, okay? You need um, some quiet time to get something done. Um, you can stick it to the floor of like your kitchen, like where their playpen is. Um, you can even stick it to like the tub wall um, while you bathe or do nails if you want them to be distracted while you're doing something like that. Um, they will already know about this as well. Um, the licking stimulation is good for the brain and it helps to tire them out without having to take them outside and let them run around. Um, so this is a good, let's wear you out item. Um, I would suggest getting several uh, because you do want to be able to freeze them because it lasts longer that way and constantly have one that's made and ready to go. You can also do the same thing with um, a Kong. And I am a big, big fan of Kong. One of their, you know, traditional ones that you can stuff. Um, so same thing, like, you know, peanut butter and pieces of food, um, blueberries, carrots, and stick it in the freezer, um, and then just pull it out when you need it. Okay, so there's that. You will also get some food that they have been eating. Okay, so we use TLC Puppy. Um, I also wrote on here that the link to where you order, sorry, you can't see it, um, is sent via text. So when I send this video, I will also send the link on how to order the food. Um, so TLC is online ordering only and you cannot get it in a store. It is a really nice high quality food without all the yucky extra fillers. Um, so I will send you a bag of this. This is about two and a half days worth of food for your puppy. Um, so you will want to, when you get this video in the link, go ahead and order it. They have really good shipping times. Um, for me, it's about two days, which is awesome. Um, so just order it, like I said, when you get this video and it will be there in time. Now use this bag first because I do, add in powdered pumpkin. You'll see some granules in here. Um, pumpkin is very good for the digestive system. That is also something that the puppies are going to be used to and that you can use on 
the licky mat. Um, you can use canned pumpkin. It's like I said, good for the digestive system and it helps keep your stool a little bit more firm. Um, stress will cause your puppy to have some loose stools. So going home with you and being in a new environment um, can cause puppy stress and it can cause some upset in the GI tract. So make sure when you take home your puppy, feed them this food. And then if you do decide that you don't want to continue with TLC, that is totally fine. I do really, really suggest you at least order once from TLC. So by rule of thumb, you are not supposed to change the puppy off of their weaning food for at least a month after you get them home, okay? Because of all of the other upsets that can cause GI problems, let's not add on a switch of food, okay? So when you are ready to switch over to a different food, then you do it tiny bits at a time. So the transition should take about 10 days once you start the transition. So you're doing like a quarter cup at a time with the new food supplementing into this. So taking out a quarter and putting a new quarter of the new food. So like I said, this is only about two and a half days. So this is assuming that you have ordered the food before you bring home your puppy and then your food will be coming and this will just get you by until then. And then of course it's got the, the pumpkin in it. Um, but yes, order the food, use it, and then transition probably a month or two down the road to whatever food that you decide that you would maybe prefer. Okay, it just, just do it gradually. You do not wanna deal with a puppy with some watery diarrhea, you know, that could have been avoided, okay? Also, um, everybody talks about probiotics with humans and it's the same with dogs. So they are on a probiotic. Um, I have it written on here, Bernie's Perfect Poop. Sorry if you can't see it. Um, and it says probiotic. There is the website and then there is a code that's specific to me. So these are just little granules and you just add it into their bowl with their food once a day. This is about four days worth. Um, so if you would like to continue it, do it. I, there's great results. Um, all past puppy parents really like it. It does help with keeping stool firm. Um, it's tasty. I get the cheese flavored. Um, I think there's two different flavors. I think there's a chicken and a cheese. I don't know. I get the cheese one. Um, you can set it up on auto ship just like with the food. You can set that up on auto ship as well. So that's really nice. Um, but this can be auto ship as well. Um, really nice and, and shelf stable, just like food. So they would just get this once a day with their food. You can even um, add it onto the licky mat as like another texture. If you mix it in with say like the pumpkin or peanut butter or something and freeze it on here and do that on your daily. I've done that before too. All right, the puppies are also accustomed to bully sticks. Um, so this is beef, it's from a cow. Um, I order these from Chewy's. The brand that I get is Bones and Chews. They, so they do have a smell, it is a body part, but these are lower odor than some of the other ones I found. Um, I have had previous puppy parents ask me, what brand is this? Because the ones that I buy are different. My puppy doesn't like it as much. So that's why I'm telling you the brand. So you live and you learn about that there are preferences. Um, so this is actually, I buy in bulk, the 20 pack of 12 inch. And I have hubby just saw them in half for me. So they're down to a six inch. Um, for your puppy, this should last quite a while. Um, now once your dog is an adult, this might last 20 minutes, unfortunately. Um, and they are on the spindy side, but rawhide is a no-go. Um, things like hooves 
are too hard. You're going to break teeth. Um, you know, knuckle bones, ask your vet. They probably see quite a bit of broken teeth. Um, and then that's a nice surgery cost. So yes, they're expensive. Um, but once they get, you know, wet with their saliva and they're chewing on it, it's just not as hard. Um, so just watch, uh, when this gets down to the last little bit, be sure and take it away. They might try to swallow it and they will choke. There are toys um, that you can buy that you can slide it in and it'll hold on to the end. And I do recommend those because then your puppy will chew, but then when it gets down to the last little bit, they obviously can't get it out to swallow the remainder. So I do recommend, I'm sorry, I don't remember what they're called. Kong might even have one, but honestly, if you Google like bully stick holder, I'm sure you will find exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so TLC, the food, also sends their own little puppy pack. So it's got some information about their quality food. It sends you with a measuring scoop. Awesome, love this thing. Uh, some poo bags. And then a sample of their treats. I also buy their little puppy biscuits. Um, you can get a big box of them for pretty inexpensive and all of my dogs really like them. Um, they're just simple, crunchy treats. Um, all my dogs always get a treat when they go into their crate. So even as an adult, okay, um, even my seven-year-old dogs that are completely great trained and gladly will go in there just when you tell them to anyway, they still get treats every time they go in their crate. You know, crates, I'm a fan of crate training and crate is a safe, happy place where they get good things. So these are nice to have on hand. Lastly, and a pretty high important piece is True Panion. So they are an insurance company. So when you get a puppy from me, you get 30 days worth of free emergency insurance. So. I will send you, along with this video and the food link, a picture of a flyer and it will have the website, their phone number, and then a code specific to me. You can either call them or go online and set it up. So you will register yourself and your puppy and it is, like I said, 30 days worth of free emergency insurance. And so it starts when you pick up your puppy and you, you activate it, okay? You have to activate within 24 hours of picking up your puppy. No exceptions. They will not allow you to claim the offer if you not, do not do it 24 hours past your puppy pickup. If you happen to want to do it, like let's say 48 hours before you come, that's okay. It just can't be past the 24 hours that you've already had your puppy, okay? So you register, I'll give you an example. So say um, your puppy falls off your bed. Maybe you have a pretty high, pretty high bed and they fall off and they break a leg. So you go to the vet and if you have your True Canyon insurance, okay, you will contact them. They do have a deductible for per claim. I believe it's 250. But then after that, they cover 90% of the claim. Okay, and then you just pay your 10%. So, and this is completely free to you for the 30 days. It doesn't cost you anything and it will expire after 30 days. You don't have to continue it. You can, of course, if you want to. Um, so it could possibly, in an emergency, save you a lot of money and save you possibly a phone call to me saying, hey, I don't have the money to care for this puppy's emergency. But if you activate this, we'll get it taken care of, right? Okay, like between 
you and me, we can figure something out, okay? So this is to protect your puppy and also to protect you. So they decided on 30 days because that is the highest percentage of oopsie things when you bring home your puppy is that first month, okay? So it can also include um, like health issues like if they catch parvo, right? Everybody knows about parvo and puppies. So if, heaven forbid, your puppy gets sick because you, you know, let them sniff around outside on the ground at the vet, which I do not recommend. Always carry your puppy in the vet. Don't put them down. Um, and they get parvo from the ground outside the vet, you know, and you've had your puppy a week, 10 days, two weeks, and they're not fully vaccinated yet, okay? True Panion will help you with those hospital costs, which are not cheap, okay? So you want to stay away from parvo. <laughs> so I will ask you, this is something I strongly believe in, and there is no downside to you. Absolutely none. It takes just a few minutes for you to call and set it up. Um, I will ask you when you come here and pick up your puppy, did you do this? Okay. Um, if you are strongly against it, okay. Um, that's, I'm not going to force you, but I'm going to let you know, you know, some of the cons, right? Okay. I believe that is it. So please, if you have any further questions about any of these items, let me know. I'm always a phone call or text message away. And um, yeah, I am always here to help you. I am not somebody who steps away once our transaction is completed. Um, I'm here for the lifetime of your dog. Um, that's just a part of me and the business that I run. Um, feel free to call me in a year or call me the following day after you pick up your puppy and say, oh my gosh, what do I do? This happened. <laughs> it happens and I will answer you and I will do the best that I can. Um, I've learned a thing or two over the past few years. Um, so I am happy to share as much of my knowledge as I can. Um, I very much enjoy my vet's office and um, have called them many times with some questions that, you know, my clients have had. And I'm like, hey, walk me through this, you know, and, and, and share all of your ideas. And, and it helps to have yet another professional, you know, in your pocket to, to help you with that. So anyway, let me know if this brings up any questions.